Okay, so I'm doing a shift coupler replacement. Um, I left our VW night the other night. Uh, it's like last Saturday. And as I was pulling out, shifted to second. When I went to, to go in third, it would not go. It would not go in fourth. So I drove home in second gear. Uh, had a couple days. I uh, couldn't work on it. And I finally got under it and noticed that the shift coupler itself, the collar, has uh, it's got the little crimps on the inside. And they have like bent up and broken loose and it's just got warped out of shape and, but the collar itself is crimped on and it actually moves which is you know when you put it in third gear it's supposed to kick back and let's see back into the right and it just would not allow it so uh, got a new one we're going to try to put this on. I've already uh, replaced the uh, shift bushing underneath of the uh, the shifter, like the gear shift lever. Um, and it was pretty easy. Just uh, take the shifter off. Just disconnect the shifter here. Okay. And then... Under here, there's a, uh, a bolt that is about halfway back on the, the shift rod. You undo that and disconnect the long center shift rod from the front shift rod. You can pull it, uh, once you get it loose, you can kick it over to the side and push it back. And then the shift rod here slides all the way back in so that you can put the new uh, bushing in. This is the old bushing. And it was just, you know, too much slop in it. It's just kind of worn. But uh, the new bushing is nice and tight. Um, but after you get that in there, you just kind of bolt everything back up and, and center it so that it looks like, uh, well, at least the way I'm going to do it. I've not watched anybody do this before, but you just kind of center it where neutral would be, and then you go back there. Um, after you have your um, shift coupler disconnected from the back, obviously, and I just took a set of uh, vice grips and uh, snapped onto the uh, the shaft that goes into the, the nose cone of the transmission, and you can feel the gears. You've got one, two, and then three and four, and it's in the center. It's like you can tell where neutral is, so I've got it popped in neutral. And now we're going to attempt to put the uh, shift coupler back on. Okay. Okay, so got it all together. Um, it was a bit of a struggle. This is not a very big space here uh, to try and put this in. Uh, the only issues I really had was the uh, the barrel and the bolt that goes through it um, that came with the new coupler. They they weren't biting very well. Like you you 
would run it all the way in and you could grab either side of it and pull it and the whole part would separate. Uh, it would just, it was not gr gripping the inside. So I took the original barrel and bolt uh, from the, the uh, coupler that was originally on it and I used that and everything's nice and tight. There's no slop, there's no movement whatsoever. So uh, I am probably gonna replace this. The, the one that came with the new, um, the, the grub screw that came with the new coupler, it's square, which I don't really like, but it's got a hole through it. And I'd like to just maybe tie some wire around it and twist it off so that that's a little more secure. So now we're gonna move up. Now you want to um, be you want to be sure that you get this the right direction because this is your reverse lockout plate um, that keeps you from you know going from like first to reverse you know like while you're driving you know um, it requires it's got this little lip in it and a little groove that kicks over that requires you to like you know, push down on your shifter and then before it will go into reverse. So um, you wanna make sure that you uh, remember what direction that goes. And unfortunately I don't. <laughs> so I'm gonna look that up real quick. Okay, so the reverse lockout plate, I've got everything buttoned up now, but the reverse lockout plate needs to be with the small tab on the driver's side and the, uh, the longer tab with the ramp up on the passenger side pointing, you know, kind of ramping up to the front. <laughs> so I've got that all together. Um, got the new bushing in it, got the new uh, coupler in the back. Um, and you can, this has a little bit of an adjustment with it. You can loosen these and slide the, the base of the shifter back and forward a little, a little bit to try and uh, fine tune the shifting and make sure everything's just right. I think we've got everything ready to go.
Okay, so that's a wrap. Everything uh, everything works properly. It shifts super smooth. The shifting hasn't been this tight since I've had it. I don't have to search for gears. There's no slop in the shifting. It's just first, second, third, fourth, down and over for, for reverse. Um, so I'm glad to be back on the road. I've been down for like a week uh, just because I haven't been working and I haven't had time to actually uh, get underneath of it and change the parts. So uh, I got the uh, shift coupler and the uh, the bushing for the front uh, from Out Outcast Bug and Buggy Shop in Westwood, Kentucky. So check them out if you can, or if you're in this area. Um, but thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.